How's it going guys? Fox here and welcome back to some more Fire Emblem. Last time we stocked up and got ready for the biggest fight of our life, going after Nurgle. And, well, Hollywood struggles to recover from Nian's death and moves onward. His destination is the Dread Isle. An enemy waits there, one who must be defeated. Nurgle surrounds himself with morphs and waits for Hollywood's arrival. The final battle draws near. Alright guys, we're almost there. And in this episode... Chapter 30, Victory or Death. Getting so close, guys. Well, we've arrived. Fargus, I can, ne I can never thank you enough. <laughs> no need to worry about that. Are you sure you don't need our help from here? Fargus' pirates... Fargus' pirate crew makes women smile and villains revel. We could be helpful. Thank you for your concern, but from here, we go alone. We don't have any idea what will happen. We'd like you to deliver a message, if you would. Even if we are successful... Div uh... Even if we successfully defeat Nurgle, there's no saying if we'll survive the battle. We might. If we don't return. I apologize for any for the con inconvenience, but... I'll worry about that when the time comes. Don't worry. Thank you. And also, about Niles. I know. I'll take responsibility for him. Niles? Where... Where are you going now? We're going to shatter Nurgle's ambitions and bring him down. You wait here and rest until we get back, okay? Niles, I don't think you'll forgive me, no matter how much I, how I apologize. But just hear me out. Our power is no match for Nurgle. Even so, we cannot give up. I have to fulfill Ninian's wish, too. I will never, ever flee from that duty. So, I want you to face reality as well. It doesn't have to be now, but when you're past the pain. When you've recovered. I'm sure that's when Ninian would want, too. Okay. Fargus, we're going. Hey, don't mess up. Don't mess this up, pups. Ahoy! Dot! Hold on a moment. Yeah, what is it, Captain? Isn't there something you want to tell me? What? Alright, fine. Get going. No, okay. Dart! What? What is it? Don't come back dead. <laughs> is that it? Of course I'm not gonna... Of course I'm not gonna die. Oh? Sit my life five years back. If I went and lost it now, you'd have to you'd have to hide you'd have my hide for a rug. I'll do whatever it takes to get back alive. Ah, is that so? And get going. Better watch after those whelps too. Nah, Captain. Well then, time to get back on board and wait. Come on, lad. Oh uh oh. I forgot. I was supposed to give him something important. Something that'll come real handy in real handy in battle. Can't believe I forgot. Uh, nothing to be done but send someone after them. I'll go. Oh? I sure you want to do that. I am. Well, that's a relief. Live in return, well. So, they're coming. Go, Limasteel. Bring their essences to me. Sire, I've given you magic stronger than any seen on the continent. Through this magic, you have gained much power. 
perfect strength, perfect beauty. You are my masterpiece, Lemistil. Your flesh cannot endure the power of this sorcery. Before tomorrow, your entire body will be corrupted. But this is what you desire, yes? The chance to die for me? As you wish. So far, so good. A little more and we'll be at the Dragon's Gate. We got here without much trouble. Wonder where, when Greybeard will show up. What do you want to do? Wait. Let me, let me think. Lord Elliwood, look out, move! Lord Elliwood, look out, move! Niles, you came? I did. I can't run away any longer. I'll take Ninian's place. I have to do her part. No, I have to do Ninian's part and mine. I'll fight with you and we'll change the course of fate. Well spoken. Now you sound like a man. Niles, glad to see you. Sorry for worrying. Ugh. Sorry for worrying you. I'm fine now. And now, stop sulking and come out. I know you're there. Hmm? What? Hmm. Ah, who? Lemme steal. The one who's always at Nurgle's side. Ebony hair, golden pupils. You're me up moth, aren't you? I have come for your quintessence. Come out, my humble servants. Well, we'll have a fight all the way through. No matter how many there are, we cannot retreat. Eh, she hasn't called any dragons yet. If we go now, we might still have some time to stop them. Let's go, Fox. It's, it's the final battle. Alright. You got a lot of stuff to do. First thing first, let's view the map. So we got some armored unit, armored morphs over here. Let me just check their weapons. They're all wielding steel lances. Thank God it's not poison. Got a couple of cavaliers also wielding lances. So axe are going to be really good to start. A Wudao. Isn't that like a super powerful? Yeah, that's a super high crit weapon. Um, Bolting and flint thimble wetter. Um, so we have to also move quickly because that will hurt. I haven't even seen Fimbleweather as a possible obtainable spell yet. Light's Brand, Silver Sword, Aura, which is a 1-2 spell, and Purge, which is a 3-10 light spell. And we got a couple of Javelin, wheel, uh, javelin and Killer Lance, uh, Dragon Riders, um, Aura and Fortify, Restore All Health to near allies nearby. Cool, man. This is gonna be, uh, rough. How much luck does this guy have? He has no luck, so the Devil X is bad for him, I'm pretty sure. Uh, he dropped a Nosferatu. Um, got some more Steel Lance and Slim Lance. Got another crossbow there. Uh, he has Fimble Wetter. And he actually drops Fimble Wetter, so... That's actually something we want to look forward to, but oh my god, his defense resistance is so high, I don't know how I'm going to kill him. Okay. Well, let's prepare the troops, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, guys. Well, here's the lineup. Elliwood, Niles are required, so I brought both of them. Niles has two elixirs on him, plus all of Ninian's stuff. Uh, then we have Lynn, Hector, Florina, Wrath, Guy, Priscilla, Urk, Sane, Dart, Matthew, Lucius, Kent, Marcus, and Dorcas. So, uh, I brought a lot of axes and just versatile characters with me. With good defense, some people might die here. It's not unlikely at all. So, because of this morph, 
and this morph because of their long, long, long range. Like, he can hit anyone. And luckily, this one is pretty far away, so he'll have a hard time hitting anyone, but still. So the first half of this is going to be extremely difficult. I brought a lot of axe users to try to cut through these spearmen and these armored units. I'm going to be trucking through these guys and continue on this way to kill this archer so that we don't have to deal with them. I don't know what this guy has, just a silver axe. So yeah, I'm bringing a lot of units that way. Um, I mean, steel swords, uh, that's not right. I need to change Ken's sword really quick. But um, yeah, all of that pretty much is, that's what's going to happen. We're just going to be charging them down. But yeah, not have an iron sword on him, he needs a steel. save and hope for the best and of course we're going to deploy Merlinus. Ah, Lord Elliwood here! This is an Earth Seal? Where did you get this? Fargus told me to give it to you. I'm grateful. This should help us out in battle. I'll send that to uh, Merlinus from now. I don't think any of my characters are upgradable. Fox, if you're worried about me, I'm fine. You know all about my flute song, right? I'll do my best to do Ninian's part two. All right. So I suppose first things first is let's uh, move up and just start axing these guys down. One. A two. There's our first dead man. Sane's already leveling up because he's awesome. Uh, I did bring an archer with me. I didn't bring a regular archer with me, so nobody can use that. Because, yeah. I'm gonna hide uh, Merlinus in the corner over there. So he can't be hit. Uh, can't move up far enough to attack those guys yet. Dorcas, I think, should take the lead on that. I'll just put everyone behind him. Um, steel axe. Steel axe. And then I have the bow for backup. Um, let's say. Doing a decent bit there. Let's say about this, though. Silver bow, that'll almost kill. Uh, how about Lin? Can Lin kill? Iron bow. Pretty damn close. Nice. Get the crit right off the bat. That's very good. Alright. Alright, so let's move up Elliewood. Hector. Um, I don't think... Okay, no. Florina's safe there. This guy, though. Yeah, Florina can't move. I'm gonna keep her in the woods for now. Uh, I'm going to send a small troop north to try to combat the um, asshole that is archers. Okay. My uh, question is, if I sing to Elliewood, could I kill this guy, maybe? Could always give it a shot. Play. Refresh the unit. Alright. I else might die, and I don't know if that's bad. Nope, I can't reach him. Well, I can move up to here at least. Oh, apparently moving up to there spawned these three units. That's not really bad, they're just more spear, sword, spear, spear, okay, yeah, they're just more units that are basic. If, it, if they were mages or archers, then I'd be worried, but I'm not. Okay. 
So the pain begins. Okay, none of them can get close enough. Those two, those are flying, those are flying. They're moving towards the south, that's fine. The mage is moving up there and attacking him, of course. Dodge, thank god. He does have high uh, agility, or high speed, so that's good. Attacking the bishop. Miss, nice. And where is he? He's attacking. That's actually fine. Marcus has high defense. Alright, so that first turn went pretty well. Um, Steel Axe. Um, that'll be a 36, 38 damage. With a 100%. Yeah, I'll take that. And a crit right off the bat, so he's dead. <laughs> Good experience for Dart. Um, that'll be 26 for 29 damage. Um, I can do 10 here. That'll actually be enough to weaken him. Plus, it'll give Dorcas some bow experience. Give Marcus a level, hopefully. Because it's been a while since I've used Marcus. We've gotten him at the beginning of Ellie Wood's journey, and I don't think I've really used him at all. So, some fresh experience for him. I think he'll be level 2. Yep. But that's fine. I mean, he's a upgraded unit already when we got him, so... He was already powerful. Oof. Um... Hmm. I do have to train with axes, so... I'll take the bad hit chance. Ooh, but I do have the crit, so that's 16. 12. Take 11 in response. And another crit. He'll still live. Which is kind of hilarious. But, um... Okay, so one of my healers has to go that way. So I'll send Urk over there. Or should I send Lucius? Uh, I'll send Urk, because they might need a lot of healing. Okay, so I'm gonna send Sane up towards this way. To combat that. Ooh, that's a problem. So these are Devil Axe, Steel Axes, okay, so I need Swordsman's up that way, that's fine, that, that's where I was sending Urk, that's where I'm gonna send, uh, her, okay, so I can get in range with him, okay, I can kill him, how bad could that be, these all have spears, can I kill him with an axe, oh, I can't use axes, um, can I kill him with a spear? No. So I'll go with the silver sword and just hope for the best, really, I guess. Because I do not want to chance that guy living. Damn. And get a crit on top. I mean, silver sword, that's really powerful. So. Um. Wrath can come in and shoot that guy. Only dealing 10 though. Um, okay, so I guess I'm gonna be sending these guys in these directions. Um, I'll stay here. Make Lin move again. Let's see what this does. Let's see if I can pull something useful out of this. Okay, I could get to this bush, which is pretty good. Let's see, Monokatsu doing 32 damage exactly with no chance of repercussions. The Steel Sword does the same amount, with a little less chance to hit, but it should be fine. I'm primarily worried about this guy because of the Wu Dao. Missed. And dead. Okay, cool. So I feel safe now. 
at least for that section. Uh, how far can these guys move? Yeah, they can definitely, well, the one can definitely get to Wrath. I'll, I'll move Wrath to here and attack this guy, just to try to bring him down a little bit. Okay. Just trying to weaken him a bit so that he can't do much. Um, Florina still has to stay here. She's not safe from arrows. And Merlinus also has to wait. Okay. Nice. Ken just, like, wailing on him so hard with this iron axe, just hoping out of hope to take him out. Kind of a waste of a silver sword strike, but eh, I weakened him so I wouldn't have to use two. Alright. These guys are gonna come down, which is kind, kind of shitty. Ooh, this could hurt. I did say that deaths were going to be possible. Lady Lindus, travel safely. First man down. Oh, that sucks. But we gotta power through it. All right. Steel lands, but I'm in the woods, so fuck you. Die. Didn't get a crit, so he survives with one. Sadly. Lynn can take a lot of that, so that's not a problem. Still no crit, really? It's a 25%, so out of four, you think one would. But, okay. And, okay. Even less chance to hit. There's the crit. Now that's a dead paladin. There we go. Tao Lin Du. She's so powerful. Nice. Even more strength. That's something she does need. Ooh, I didn't check her. 0% chance to hit Eclipse. Okay, so that's this spell that does half health and damage. So resistance doesn't matter against that, but dodging does. So I'll just keep Lin there. Because that seems safe. Arrow. Should miss. Yep. Arrow. That might hit. Ooh, man, that does a lot. Fuck. I have to get Urk over there quick. Alright guys. And that's okay, I can get Urk over here and heal that up. But I do kinda wanna make sure I can kill these fools. So he's the only one with a sword. And he doesn't even have that much damage on him. So I'm gonna feel safer if he goes after him. Taking 20. Uh, with a 50% chance. Actually, uh, how bad, how good is Tomahawk? Pretty good. I'm gonna use it on him. Fuck! Okay, second one hit. Okay, so Dorcas has to shoot with either a bow or hand axe. Twelve damage, ninety-nine. Nice. Oh, that was close. That was close. That silver axe was actually extremely dangerous. I didn't give it enough, like, forewarning in my brain. All right, let's uh, heal you up. I do feel good about having many healers now. I'm glad I upgraded Lucius. All right. Well, I'm gonna put him closer to the edge. And axe. 12 on a 90. Even if he is in the woods. Nice, nice. Doing good, good. Cool, man. Let's see. Um. Okay. So I could kill this guy, but how much damage can this dude do? Not very much, and a very low chance to hit. 
Sane does have a ridiculous amount of uh, defense, but he doesn't have much on the old HP block. So I'm going to take a chance here. And I'm going to use Sword against this guy to kill him. And now uh, Florina is free to move north. Uh, who's over here? Okay, so she can also move in the center, I think. Uh, because this crossbow isn't taken. Yeah, she's fine. So I'm gonna move her up, uh, next to, um, Hector. Play a song for Florina. Alright. Now, uh, how far can these guys go? Okay, not too far. And yeah, I can go into those woods. So if I did this, and put Hector behind her, uh, do that, move her here, and I'm just gonna start spearing dudes, I guess. Our, uh, steel Lance, go for it. One down. Giving Florina that cover and experience. Uh, Lynn could use some as well, so I think I'll... Actually, nah. I'm gonna give a little bit of XP to Wrath. Actually, no. That guy's got no health. Um, I'll use an Iron Lance. Give some Lance XP to Elliewood. Alright. I think I'll have to set up a little bit of defense here um, against these guys, so I'm just going to let that sit there. And I'll move up and defend with that as soon as I figure out something. Okay, so if I moved there... Okay. So... That archer is dead, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's safe to move Lucius up to here. And just wait with Merlinus, and this will probably be the last turn for this episode. Nah. I'll just kill you. Sane's going to get a huge amount of experience from this, but that's fine. Because he could probably use it. Alright, another attempt on his life. Good old misses. Good old murder. Good old murder, murder. And let's see what that Devil X guy's gonna do. Get a good little level up for Sane. He's at, let's see, no, 13. Okay, yeah, he's much slower level than I thought. I thought he was level 15. Ooh, and he increased his weapon uh, with swords. Ooh, I didn't think he could go that far. But he has a 0% chance of that. That scared the bejeebus out of me. Okay, you need to die, good sir. I put people in way too much risk. This should be fine. Wow, they're actually pretty equal on speed, but that's because of the Slim Lance increasing. She has high resistance. So. But resistance doesn't matter. She has good dodge, though. So, that's good. Shooting at Marcus. Missed that time. That's good. I think Marcus might be in range. Let me just check that really quick. No, he's not. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching.